Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. It is the 9th of February, and I am Simon Holden. This is Holden Sources for a YouTube horse racing channel, your home of big priced winners. And that will continue today if I've got anything to do with it. Now, very, very quickly, 7 p.m. tonight. You're not going out. Well, you weren't anyway, but it sounds better if I say that. You're not going out. You are staying in to be here at Holden Sources for another Cheltenham preview. I'll recap everything that's gone on before. I'll recap what's gone on in Ireland at the weekend, how that affects the markets. And I have one more selection. So we've already got two monster lucky 15s and a huge 14 to 1 gamble. And we're only going to pile on the pressure. Forget these silly three horse gambles. On Sunday that failed, Holden's Horses is the army for Cheltenham. We don't need any j gerrymandering or any jiggery pokery, allegedly. We just need the best bets, and that's where I come in. Talking of the best bets, I've got seven to one shot for you at Southall. We're ignoring the jumpers, bumpers, bumpers, jumpers, jumpers, bumpers, bumpers. If it's on, we ain't nothing to do with that. But we have some bets at Southall and some info came in to me on not one but two horses, and I'm playing double shot. The idea was to not, but when the info came in, one is taking on a short price favourite, and connections of this horse think it has a huge chance of turning over a hot pot. And when I heard their logic, I thought, yes, I can see it. And I'm releasing that. And there's another very solid bet that the yard fancy. Now, last week at Southall, we landed three big gambles. Southall's back, double shots back. Take the hint. If you're going to give it a go, I would suggest today. I'm mega, mega confident today. Mega confident. But a bit of bad luck the last couple of days. But... Bad luck on his strikes so often, and this is a serious inside information service. So get involved at the link below. We're taking on a hot pot, but I think we can turn it over at an each way price. And that's the only way to make long-term profits with inside info, particularly on the all weather to bet at good, solid prices. Okay, so there you go. Double shots, they've got seven to one for you in the opening race, but a quick reminder. Got a big few days ahead, but tonight is a big night. So please do give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying these Cheltenham videos. If you're excited about this year, I think it's going to be the best Cheltenham ever. I really do. I think everyone's going to just go berserk with the year we've had. Uh, who cares about behind closed doors when we can focus in on that track? And hopefully the weather will relent for the weekend because I've got a monster gamble planned for Saturday. Please, please, please weather settle down. Until then, last week we plundered the all weather. I intend to do it again this week. So no let up. But if this race meeting's on on Saturday, I am going to land a monster. And I think it'll be double figure price touch. So hang in there for that. And I'm going to give you it free on here. Right. 445. Very interesting race. As interesting as a class five handicap so that we'll ever get. Because it... It contains a horse who ran over one mile six last time after a course and distance win at this trip today and some other very, very solid runs between a mile, mile and two and a mile and a half. The horse has run over a mile and six. They probably went to see whether the horse got the trip. It palpably did not. And today they bring it straight back to one mile four. And I think it has been priced by the bookmakers on the strength of that bad run. Now, back at a mile and four, the horse is trained by Philip Kirby. Very, very shrewd trainer. And it's called Mr. Carbonator. And I think it's going to run with plenty of fizz. See what I did there? Back at one mile four, and it's currently seven to one. And I think it is well worth a small each way play. 445 Southall, Mr. Carbonator. He didn't get one mile six. But he's back to a trip that he's proven on. And I will always take proven form. Is he priced on the flop last time and not on the solid runs at this trip? I think he is, you know. Right, I need you here at seven. Do not be late. Well, if you're late, you can always watch it then. But you know what I mean? It's going to be a big, big Cheltenham night. Forget the gloom. Get the log burner on if you have one. Get the fire on and settle down. Dreaming of Presbury Park in March. I'll see you then. Until then, we've got Mr. Carbonator, and I'm teching on a jolly at Southern on double shot, and I'd like you stood with me, punting it. See you at seven.
let's hope we've landed these gambles.